friends uh, welcome to all of you to our today's session in our previous session we have completed the role of banks in the indian financial system exactly what are the various roles a bank performs that we have already covered today we will be learning about the functions of the bank so and if time permits we also cover the various services which are provided by the bank so let us proceed now let me share the screen with you Okay, have a look at on the screen which I'm sharing. Okay, so important functions of the bank we are going to talk. First of all, we'll classify these functions in two categories. One is you see, primary functions, second one is secondary functions. Okay, the main functions of any banking uh, institution is uh, as all of you know, accepting deposits and giving loans. You can classify all these all of these two broad categories of functions as primary functions, or you can say these are the main functions of the bank: accepting deposits and providing loans and advances. Then there are many incidental or secondary functions are also there. We'll be learning that thing. So I'll be uh, let me share with you a picture that will help you to understand various functions of the bank. You can have a look at this. Are you able to say it now? You see, banking functions we can classify into two broad categories. Can you read it out? What are these two broad categories? Some of you please read it. The two banking functions, primary functions, and secondary functions. Primary functions and secondary functions. The primary function, as I was explaining right now, it consists of mainly accepting deposits and lending. Lending means providing loans and advances. When coming to accepting deposits, there might be several categories of deposits. Okay, as you can read, as you can see it here, you can also read what are the various categories of deposits available. Can you read it up here? The deposits, current, fixed, and uh, recurring. Okay, so saving deposits, current deposits, fixed deposits, and recurring deposits. These are various deposits products available. And coming to the lending side, this is also one more important function of the bank. So as you can read, can you read it? First one is? OD. Can you guess what is the meaning of OD? Sir, overdraft. Overdraft facility. Okay, is OD? Just a minute. Okay. Second one is CC. CC means? CC, can you tell me? Can anyone guess? Well, CC stands for cash credit. Okay, what is TL? TL? Well, TL here starts for TOR loan, and BD is for bill discount. So these are various uh, lending services which are available. Overdraft, cash credit, TOR loan. It might be short term loan, long term loan, or medium term loan, and bill discounting. Bill discounting you might have studied in accounting also how a bill can be discounted and uh, short-term finances can be raised in by using this bill discounting mechanism. And coming to secondary functions, again, we can broadly classify into two categories. Can you read it? What are the two broad classification of secondary function? Can you read it out? Agency, utility. Okay, first let us see about this agency functions. You see, these are the various agency functions. First one is? Transfer. Second. Periodic collection. Third one. Payment. Okay. Check collection. Okay. Portfolio. Others. Okay. So these are certain agency functions performed by the bank. Bank works such uh, the customer's agent. Money may be transferred. Periodically, some collections can also be made through bank. Payments can be also executed by bank. If check is deposited, money can be collected through bank. And a customer's portfolio investment management can also be done by the bank. And many other agency functions can also be performed by bank. Here, bank works as an agent of the customer. And in addition to that, there are some other functions which we call it as the utility functions. These are provided. Can you read it out? What are the list of utility functions? LC. Okay. TC, Forex, DZ, Underwriting, Projects, Welfare. 
Okay. So these are again inclusive in nature. Broadly, uh, this utility functions includes all these things. There might be many more other functions back there. One is LC stands for letter of credit facilities. Banks offer this letter of credit facility. You might have heard of this. Then travelers check. That is also one more facility available with the banks. Forex dealings. Then bank guarantees or BGs bank can provide some guarantees. Underwriting, underwriting of issues uh, that also bank done. Bank that these services are also provided by bank. Projects, banks also helps execution of projects, including preparation of project papers. And many welfare activities also conducted by bank. So these are broadly, you can say these are the functions that a bank performs in our country. Are you having a broad idea now? Now, one by one, we'll be discussing about all this. Is it clear to you about banking functions? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let us move forward. So, again, I repeat primary and secondary. Primary consists of deposits and lending. Secondary functions consist of agency function and utility functions. Now, one by one, each function is discussing. Okay. So, as I told you, primary functions, you can classify into two major categories, acceptance of deposits and granting of loans and advances. Coming to acceptance of deposits, as we saw just now. So these are normal, these are four broad categories of deposits available. There might be many subcategories. Let us say saving deposit is one category. There might be various types of saving accounts also. That possibilities are also there. But broadly, we can say these are the schemes of acceptance of deposit. Saving bank deposit, you already know what is that. Customer can go to the bank and open a savings bank account. The purpose is to encourage the saving habits of public. And in saving account, public gets uh, a return in the form of interest. So normally, the rate of interest is low because the risk taken by the customer is also low. And also, there is an off liquidity made available to the customer at any moment. Customer can withdraw money. And when the saving deposits are paid, certain facilities are also provided by by bank like provision of ATM of debit card, provision of checkbook, internet banking facilities, all these things are made available to the customer. Okay, so this is normally the saving, this kind of uh, deposits most of you might be having or might be enjoying the facilities which are offered by the bank. But this is one of their function of banking interest. Understood this saving bank account? Now coming to next category of deposit, which is called as the fixed deposit. Fixed deposit, what happens here, interest or, or the amount which is invested that is blocked for some period. So you are not supposed to withdraw money before that period. So it can be blocked for six months, maybe for one year, maybe for three years like this. So within that period, you are not supposed to withdraw, but if at all you want to withdraw, still you can do it. But at that time, you have to pay some penalty for that. And rate of interest will be higher. Rate of interest will be higher than the interest that you get from saving bank account. Because in this case, what exactly I think you are sacrificing your liquidity in saving bank account. When you are having money in saving bank account, it is available in fully liquid form. At any moment you can you want, you can withdraw money from ATM. Is it but in FD, if you want, you have to normally you are supposed to park it for a specified period but if you want to close it before that you have to go to the bank and make an application to close it so it will take some time so you are restricting by you bring a fixed deposit account in fact you are restricting your liquidity and for that sacrifice you will be getting little more interest and the rate of interest varies from varies depending upon the period okay if the period is long, then you get more interest. Are you getting what is fixed deposit account? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now you see, uh, there is also one more possibility, third possibility also one can think of, that is saving comp fixed deposit. That possibilities are also there, which is popularly called as flexi deposit. That is an innovative product in banking industry. 
In that case, what happens? Normally, saving bank account is maintained. But if balance reaches above a, above a level, right, right, then that is automatically converted into a fixed deposit. And customer gets more interest. That possibility is also there. Hybrid of saving plus fixed deposit. Okay, so recent trend in the banking industry to what to this is one more kind of oh, developed product, hybrid product. Is there. Now, next category is that uh, current deposits. Current deposits normally, it's what happens, uh, uh, this business main or the uh, companies who do businesses, they open this kind of accounts. So current account, what happens, there is no interest on that. Current account is open to park the fund. And this account will also facilitate it to do all kinds of commercial activities like making, transferring money, making e-payments, receiving money, collecting money. All these business transactions are routed through this current account. But interests are not paid, rather some charges back also debit some charges to the customers for account maintenance charges like that. Okay, polio charges also. These are some charges which are collected by the bank. Bank takes care of the funds of the company, funds, uh, funds of the account holder. Charges some money, and no interest is paid by the bank. Advantage of this bank thing, you know, when this kind of account is that, uh, there is a possibility that one can have a body facility attached to that. Body means overdraft facility. That means money can be withdrawn above the balance. Suppose balance is 10,000, one can withdraw 12,000 also. If body facility is there, that bank. So body facility can be attached to a current account. Okay, up to a limit, there is a body limit. Bank normally fixes an body limit. Within that limit, at any point of time, if a writing is checked, your balance is not there, but body limit is there. So that will be allowed by the bank. Bank will honor that check. Did you understand what is current account? And there is no restriction as regards to number of transactions in a current account. Saving bank account, normally there are certain restrictions. Okay, if you do more than that, let us say you can do much more withdrawals than the permitted limit, you have to pay certain charges. In current account, all those things are not there. It's a business account. So any number of transactions can be done. Banker charges some reasonable amount for maintenance of that account. And overdraft facilities are possible with Are you getting it? Did you understand? Yes, sir. Now, next is recurring deposit accounts, or popularly called as RD account. This kind of account that happens. The deposits are made periodically, maybe on monthly basis, or maybe on quarterly basis, or maybe on annual basis. Periodically, certain investments are still made. Rate of interest is normally higher. Why it is higher? Because interest gets compounded. So some people open this kind of deposit accounts called as RD account. It is also for a fixed term. On the expiry of the term, the account matures and the account holder gets the entire. Suppose someone is opening, opening a uh, RD account for five years. Maybe on monthly basis, he has to keep on depositing money. So five years means 60 times, 60 uh, in 60 different installments, he has to make deposits. And finally, the match will be the amount we will get in. That is called as the recurring deposit accounts or RD accounts. Because of compounding effect, and these accounts pays more return in the form of interest. Are you getting it? So, how many types of accounts I told you? Can you recall? Two types. Two types? No, no. Some other deposit accounts I'm talking about. How many types of deposit accounts just now we covered? One is, please tell me. The four types. Okay, tell me names. Four types, sir. Tell me the fixed name. deposit, current deposit, and a recurring deposit. The, the, Okay, let us start from saving account. Okay, saving deposit. Then you can say fixed deposit, then current deposit, then recurring deposit. In addition to that, one hybrid system I told you. What is that? Who has remembered? What is that deposit? Fifth time. Class. 
flexi <laughs> okay flexi in the sense it is flexible it can be it is it has the character of both saving saving account as well as fixed deposit so if balances uh, if the account balance reaches a particular level automatically uh, an amount will be converted into fixed deposit so that is called flexi is it clear to you up to this yes sir yes sir now let's let us move to next part is about uh, second type of primary function is granting of loans and advances here you see this is these are various options or various products through is banks provide loans and advances one is bank odi or bank overdraft second is cash credit or cc Third one is the term loan or loans. It may be short term loan, medium term loan, or long term loan. Second is discounting of fixed expenses. When I say bank overdraft, bank overdraft means that customer is allowed to withdraw money anytime above the available balance. Okay, but within the approved limit. So bank approves a limit, and if the customer wants, the customer is need of money and he doesn't have money in his account then the customer can enjoy this overdraft facility but for this overdraft facility customer has to offer certain security which are called as the collateral security okay customer has to offer, offer some security to the bank and bank will allow these facilities and money can be withdrawn over and above the balance available at the bank are you getting yes sir, yes, sir. Now, collateral securities has to be provided. Second is cash credit. Cash credit is again a short term loan. It is normally available to meet the working capital requirement of a business. And cash credit facilities are allowed against mortgage of certain property. Normally, in, in, in business houses, you can find. So they give their uh, stock, stock in uh, whatever is the uh, inventory of the stock stock in trade they have they give that those things as collateral and against that they avail a cash credit facilities so these are the stocks available with them so by offering these stocks as uh, let us say security collateral security they avail this loan. so therefore many uh if you visit to some shops or maybe some places you might have seen when they keep the stock they might be uh, that you may find a signboard written there, hypothecated to so and so bank. That means the stocks are with security with that bank. They can deal with that, they can buy and sell, but they are they are offered as a collateral security to some other bank. So they disclose that that this, these stocks are hypothecated to that bank. So this is a uh, short term loan, which is called as credit. Uh, cash credit facilities normally every year it gets renewed so even if it is a short term loan but practically uh, it takes the shape of a long term loan because if some of you have some business exposure you might be knowing that most of the business houses they enjoy this cash credit facilities and they keep on renewing even if it is initially sanctioned for one year that's why we call it as a short term but every year it gets renewed. And businessman also knows in his mind that this loan gets will be renewed. That means if you analyze the real nature, the reality is that it's a long term finance. Okay, short term finance, which can be extended indefinitely, therefore it's a long term finance. Are you getting me? This is about cash credit facilities. Then coming to the normal loans, you might have heard of various kinds of loans like housing loan, banking loan, educational loan, etc. So these loans are in fact term loans. Various kinds of loan products are available. When I say term loan, that means this loan has got a life. Loan has to be paid within that period. Okay, it may be short term, it may be medium term, maybe from one to five years, or maybe beyond that, maybe six years, seven years, eight years, they are called as a long term. Okay, it might be short term loans, medium term loans, or long term loans. Okay, so these loans may be given with security, and sometimes some specific loans are also allowed without any security under certain government scheme. And sometimes loans are allowed uh, when, uh, in to certain sectors where government itself gives a kind of guarantee. 
and people can avail these loans without seeking. That possibilities are also there. So this is one more kind of finance. Then the next category of finance is the discounting of bills. Here what happens, some of you might have already studied in accounting. A normal trader, when he supplies something, he raises a bill or invoice. Okay, goods are supplied, invoice is raised. And the invoice, if it is accepted by the recipient or if accepted by the purchaser, then that, that bill itself may be worked as a negotiable instrument. Okay, that accepted bill can be given to the bank. Bank may discount it. Bank may discount it is bank may finance you against some bill because that particular bill shows that something is receivable by you. Bill is raised means person has accepted means you'll be receiving something. When it takes the form of receivable, it becomes your asset. Okay, it's an asset for you because money is receivable. And that asset gets discounted. Bank discounts it and give you some money. That is called as a bill discounted asset. Suppose bill is for 5 lakh, bank may give you 4 lakh 50,000. Okay, when bill will match you, that is a bill is due after 60 days. After 60 days, bank will be collecting the money and settling the bills. Okay, understood what is bill discounting? This is one more practice through which bank can finance. So all these facilities are, as you have learned, these are, you see, bank's fund is involved, or bank's money is involved, therefore it is called as the funded source of finance, funded activities. Fund is involved, bank overdraft, cash credit, term loans, and discounting of bills of exchange. Bank charges certain fee when it discounts the bill. Understood these four, four parts of finance? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, let us see the secondary functions of the bank. Secondary functions, as we have already seen, can also be classified into two broad categories. Please read them. What are they? What are these functions? Agency function. Agency and function. Agency function and input function. Good. Now, first, let us see about the agency functions of Agency function, as we are discussing, that means your bank works as an agent of the customer. First of all, you see, what is the first function? Can you read it out? Transfer of funds. Transfer of funds. Here, exactly what happens. Suppose you are a customer, you have a fund in one branch, you want to get it transferred to another branch. So, on your behalf, bank will be doing that. That is called as the agency function. At any moment, you can do it by using the banking system. You can transfer money from one bank to another branch, one bank to another bank, one account to another account. Anything you can do is transfer of funds or from one person to another person. So, so on the on your instruction, bank will be doing it. This is your agency function. Okay, this is not a deposit function nor a lending function. You see, bank's money is not involved your money is getting transferred. Second is periodic collection. Bank also periodically collects. Suppose salary can be collected by bank. Dividend amounts can be collected by, uh, collected by the bank. Pensions can be collected by bank. So periodically bank collects the money. Automatically you see on a particular debt, money is credited in your bank account. So periodically bank collects. As an agent of the customer, bank collects money like this. There. Okay, banks works as a collection. Third one, can you read it? What is third one? Periodic payments. Periodic payments. So if you give instruction, you know the periodically bank can honor the payments. Bank can pay electrical bill, electricity bills, may pay your let us say uh, TV network bill, internet bill. So all these things can be paid by the bank periodically. Automatically, bills can be raised or on the basis of your standing instruction, payments can also be released. So this is one more agency function. Bank Collection of checks. When you deposit a check, bank gets it collect. Okay. Check may be drawn on any other bank, but banks collect it on your behalf. Portfolio banks. Banks sometimes manage the portfolio of bank, portfolio of their clients. They look after their investment functions. 
they see that the value of the portfolio increases. Okay, so bank uh, applies their it, its brain to ensure that the portfolio of the clients are managed properly. This is one more concept which is proper. When you say portfolio management, here we're talking about investment in various avenues, maybe in equity sales, maybe in debentures, maybe in mutual funds, maybe in properties. So entire thing all taken together, the basket of investment will be referred to as portfolio. So that investment management part is also looked after by bank. Bank also carries out many other agency functions. That means bank may sometimes work as a representative of its clients. Sometimes it also acts as an executor, trustee, or administrator also. So these are many things which bank works. These are called as the agency functions of the bank. Is it clear to you? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Next come to this is the utility functions of the bank. These are some useful services, utility services provided by the bank. First of all, is it is letter of credit facilities. You might be you might have heard it. What is letter of credit? That means bank gives a letter about uh, credit worthiness of a person. So, in short, let me give you an example. Normally, this letter of credit facilities are used uh, in domestic business transactions as well as in international business transaction. It is more popular in international businesses. So, if you have studied the subject in international business, you might have heard of this. What is this letter of credit facility? Sometimes this happens. Suppose you are planning to supply something to a foreign country or you got an export order. Okay, you have an export order to supply some commodities, some goods are to be supplied. So, normal question comes to your mind. You will be supplying, but what is the guarantee that other party who is located in a different country will pay you? So you may be in that fear might be there in your mind. Okay, you are ready to supply, but before supplying, you will be definitely think that whether the party will really pay me or not. Will you be thinking it or not? Because she is located in a different country. Is it same thing may also happen in domestic supply? So you fear that whether actually and uh, you have a doubt that whether actually money will be received or not. So you may ask that give me an advance, I'll be supplying. But the other party might be thinking, okay, I'll give you advance, but what is the guarantee that this party will be supplying? He is thinking that what is the guarantee? So he says, you supply material fast, I'll be giving you the money. Then how to handle this difficult situation? If it is a regular party with trading with each other, then fine. But if it's a new party, new order, what you can do? So in this kind of situation, banks comes, banks offers its help. It says, okay, you did not give me advance, but you give me a letter of credit. Letter of credit means a letter from your banker that I'll be supplying the material. And if the material is accepted, and if you do not pay, that bank will pay. Okay, in fact, that letter contains, bank is in fact giving you assurance that you can supply the material to that person on credit. Okay, and since you are not trusting your purchaser, but you can definitely trust a bank. That letter is called as the letter of credit. And once you are getting that letter of credit, you can discount this letter of credit also, just like bill discount. You can discount it and get finance for the bank also. So this is a beautiful thing. Once you've got a letter of credit, this also this also can work as an asset. So this function is also performed by bank. Did you understand what is bank letter of credit? Bank is giving a letter to the supplier that please supply to this party on credit. I will stand as a guarantor. That letter is called as letter of credit. Are you getting me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now you see that is one kind of utility. Similarly, travelers check. Travelers checks are mostly used when person travels outside, out of the country, and also used in case of domestic country, but more popular in foreign travels. In foreign travels, you can carry some pieces of travelers check. You are going to the foreign country. In that country, in that bank's branch, or in some associated bank's branch, you can encash that travelers check. 
Okay, suppose you want ten thousand dollars, you need not practically carry dollar in your pocket. You may carry a TC. You may go to US and there you may get it discounted. Travelers check. You can surrender it to the bank's counter and you will be getting dollars. You will be using that dollars there. Okay, that facilities for us travelers check. This is one utility function provided by bank. Next, undertaking safe safe custody of valuables or important documents and other securities so this service all of you know bank provides low cost facilities safe deposit vaults okay hdvs these are provided by the bank so by availing this as it is one can safely keep its valuables important documents and securities so this is one more utility box a bank charges money for that bank charges money but on the on uh, on payment of that fee so one can use these services. Bank also provides foreign exchange dealing facilities. Bank also works as a money changer, forex dealer. So if money is needed, so bank can provide you that money. This is one more utility function. Underwriting of shares. When a company comes with uh, comes up with an issue, maybe an initial public up or maybe a follow-up public up an issue comes. So one guarantee is required that this much of issue at this price will be subscribed. That guarantee is offered by an underwriter. This underwriting services, most of the cases are offered by banks. Banks underwrite that issue will be subscribed at this price. That is one more box. Dealing with foreign exchange, as you know, banks can provide you foreign exchange. You can buy and sell foreign exchange through bank. Now dealing with foreign exchange means you can also maintain forex accounts specific accounts are there okay in those type of accounts you can also park your foreign exchange in foreign exchange form okay suppose you are if you are depositing dollar it will be deposited in dollar when it will be encast you will be getting that thing uh, rupee equivalent of the dollar but it will be kept in dollar okay like nri nro account this kind of accounts are there okay now, banks also do many social welfare programs. You might have heard of this bank that's doing plantation. On the street side, you can find many activities like this. Many plants which are planted by bankers. Bankers do organize blood donation camps. You might have seen many things. So there are many social welfare programs we see in day-to-day -day life which are promoted by banks. Banks also helps in preparation of projects for an execution of projects for certain business activities. And banks also provide one more facility, which is called as a PG or bankers guarantee. Banks give a guarantee that this loan will be repaid, or this much money will be paid, called as PG services. Friends, these are the functions which are performed by the bank. We'll stop here. Next class, we'll catch up with services rendered by the bank. Okay, did you understand various functions of the bank? Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Okay. We'll close our session here today. Next class again, we'll catch up with we'll one more topic that is various services offered by the bank and various products built by the bank. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.